Hey you guys, it's Matthew here again, back with another Python learning program episode. Today we're going to be doing Battleship. Um, so last time I know I had a lot of problems. I've tried to fix it. It's just really, really confusing if you're trying to use this program, I guess. Um, knowledge of list conditionals and functions in Python. Okay, okay. Next, I guess. What? There we go. First thing you need to do is set up the game board. So create a variable board equal to an empty list. Board. Let me get this out of the way. is equal to empty list um i'm guessing that's like brackets or something yeah it's brackets cuz they're really specific and i don't want to keep on doing this okay create a 5 by 5 grid initialize to all zeros and store it in the board use range to loop five times. Uh, uh, board for ocean. Okay, so apparently this is, they want us to do range five, and then inside the loop dot append. I don't know what it means by dot append. For I in range, okay. I still don't know. It didn't point out that you needed this. Range five, okay. I can understand that. Board dot appendix zero times five. Okay. I don't get that. Doesn't show anything over here though. Contents of the board list. Uh, print board. I'm guessing that's what they want. Yeah, there we go. That still doesn't look like it. That actually looks horrible. I don't understand how that's battleship. First, delete your existing print statement. Oh, so it, we're just changing it to make it look better. Then define a function named print board. Um, define print underscore board with a single argument board underscore in there we go uh, then we're gonna do inside function with a four inside the function write a for loop for row in board I think this is like this and then print print um uh I think it's print board uh 
Okay, what did I do wrong? For iron, this is the same thing. Okay. Board for row and board. Print row. Okay, we had to print row instead. And this is how you call it. Okay, that's how you call. Okay. That's how it fixes it. Inside your function, inside your for loop, use this as the separator to point join the elements of each row. I think it's a separation maybe. And then it's like print what? We are calling the join function on the string. Okay, so it's like this. Learning experience. Woohoo, you guys. Um, that, I guess. Dot join. And then the letters is the thing. So we're, what are we doing? row I guess Did that work guess not and I can't see Th then what does this mean that is so basically basically um I did it pretty much right just without the center things and without the print at the afterward I guess okay define two new functions okay define random underscore row and random cool should take this as the input. Uh, what is it? Board underscore in, and then uh, define random underscore colon. And then this is also going to be board underscore in. Now, now we do the um, this so that we can get the center things right for each of them. These functions should return a random index and a random column index from your board. Use this on board. Um what what do I do? Like turn and randent zero comma length board underscore in minus one and then uh, uh, I think what was it isn't it And then save. But instead, it's like what? Random row board in like this. 
maybe. I'm sorry if you're an experienced learner and you're looking at me fail this, but taking educated guesses. Board. Why is this changing to board now? It was board in. Board minus one. So all I messed up on was those. Okay. Doesn't doesn't show anything. Um uh input and returns it as a string, but we're going to want to use integers for our guesses. To do this we'll wrap the raw inputs with in to convert the string to an integer. I'll input into a number. Um, variable called guess row and set it to so guess underscore row equal to well one equal to integer of raw input uh, guess row create a new variable called uh, guest colon and then make it equal to basically this without the row it's just colon column click run guest row Yeah, there we go. Before the lines prompting user for input, print. Okay, so here. Print the value ship row. Okay. Print ship underscore row. Print. Uh, yeah, print ship column. Run. Yeah, there we go. On line 29, okay. Add an if statement. If guess underscore row is equal to ship underscore row and guess colon. Oh, wait. Wait. How do you make an and one? Okay, how do you add one? Is it just an add? And oh there's an and statement. Okay. I got confu I got I've completely forgot about that. Okay, I can understand it. Add an else under the if else if print out else else print You missed my battle 
capitals ship and exclamation point set the list element of guest row x what and a statement called print board board again so that you can see the x make sure to enter a colon row on the board guess row guess colon to I don't understand what that means okay there it is else print this uh, board guess row guess colon I don't understand where that came from, but I guess that's fine. Okay, there we go. Add a new if statement um, that is nested under the else. If, like, it should check if guess row um how do you say it's not in it is not i guess it does not uh in range five and guess column is not in range five um if that is the case print out print oops that's not even in the ocean after if statement add an else else that contains your existing handler for an incorrect don't forget to indent the code okay so control C control V apparently I did it wrong I still did it wrong, apparently. Um, okay, this is what we are doing. Why this? Isn't it an and? Or, okay, here it is. Oh. We changed, okay, I can understand. Let's pull this up so that we don't have to see all that. Okay. Next one. Let's do this first. Like six, six. Okay. Add an el else if. L if. L if. Uh, 
I don't know how to say location. How do you do the location? Board guest row colon E is equal to X. Oh. This is my battleship. Okay. Okay. Your game. Make sure you've already. Da, da, da. I don't really care. One, one. It just wants us to test it. Add a for loop that repeats the guessing and checking part of your game for four turns, like the example above. Four turn in range four. Turn what? Above at the beginning of each iteration, print turn and turn plus one to let the player know the turn they are on. Indent everything that should be repeated. I don't understand what it means. Sorry guys, um not really getting it. So where did it go? For turn and range, here it is. Print turn, turn plus one. Guess row equals da da da. Guess colon equals da da da. Add an if statement that checks to see if the user is out of guesses. Put it under the else. Uh. That accounts for misses. Put it after the uh, if. Uh, so that check the reason missed. I want game over to print regardless of reason. If turn equals three. Um, okay. If turn is equal to three. Print. Uh, game over. I'm guessing that's what they want. Nope. If, if, else, if, print, board, board. What? Where did it go? equal to three that's what I did what why do you need these then <sighs> that's uh, annoying it's probably what I messed up on add a break under the win condition to end the loop after win we haven't made a loop for win Four. We still haven't made one. We still haven't made one, so it's not. We still haven't made a win. Does it mean the game over? No. Where is a break statement? Oh. You mean this is your win? That t Technically that doesn't make sense since we're making a battleship game. You hit one and you win. It, no. We're done playing Battleship, ready to move on, click run. Let's do this really quick. Get it through. Next. Okay. Um
Okay, so it doesn't really. It's just extra fun if you want. If you are really good at this, you can get through this. But as it says, it would be easier after we next lesson to do this. So I'm just gonna end it there. So that was uh, n next time we're doing lists and functions again. And um, thank you again for um, uh, thank you again for watching this because this is I know this is very boring. It is very very boring. Thank you, and see you later. Bye.